Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to discuss what programming language should you learn first. If you ask me, my short answer based on the current circumstances would be to either pick C, JavaScript or Python. In this video, I am going to explain why I picked these three languages. And by the end of this video, you'll get an idea on picking the first programming language for yourself based on your current situation. So before picking the first programming language of your choice, it's important to keep in mind that if you learn one programming language very well, it's going to be very easy for you to pick additional languages and learn them because quite of them are similar. Here are a few points that you must consider if you want to pick the first programming language for yourself. We have technology. Point one is project requirements. Different programming languages are suited for different types of projects. Consider for specific requirements for your projects such as platform compatibility, whether it should be in web, mobile or desktop, performance needs like how much users should use the system, should be scaled it or not, and integration with existing systems, etc. For example, consider you want to build a real-time application for chat or notification. In this case, you might choose JavaScript along with frameworks like Vue.js or React.js for the front-end and Node.js for the back-end. As JavaScript's single-threaded event-driven nature makes it well suited for hand real-time updates. Point number two is learning curve. Some languages are easier for beginners to learn than others. I don't understand. I don't understand either. Consider your own level of experience and comfort with programming concepts when choosing a language. For beginners, languages with simpler syntax and comprehensive documentation may be preferable. As a beginner, if you choose to start with Python, it has a straightforward syntax and vast resources for learning. For example, you could learn Python by building small projects like to-do list application or simple calculator. Point number three is community and support. A strong community and ample resources like tutorials, forums, documentation can be invaluable when learning a new language or troubleshooting issues. Consider the size and activity of the community surrounding the language you are considering. I got skills. Languages like JavaScript and Python have a vibrant community. Both have vibrant ecosystems with numerous tutorials, forums such as Stack Overflow and documentation available. Because most of the time when you encounter issues or have any questions, you are likely to find plenty of support. Point number four is job market demand. If you're learning a language with the goal of enhancing your career, research the demand for developers proficient in the language. Languages like JavaScript, Java and Python are high in demand across various industries. Research indicates a high demand for developers skilled in JavaScript frameworks like React and Node.js currently. Most companies don't seek a front-end or back-end developer but prefer a full-stack developer proficient in JavaScript or some other technology because some technologies have versatility in both front-end and back-end developments. Point number five, ecosystem and libraries. Consider the availability of libraries, frameworks and tools can streamline development in your chosen language. A robust ecosystem can significantly speed up the development and reduce the need to reinvent the wheel. Let's say you're interested in data science. Python or R language is an excellent choice, but Python could be more preferable because of its extensive ecosystem for data analysis and machine learning. Libraries like NumPy, Pandas and Scikit-learn provide powerful tools for working with data and building machine learning models. If you enjoy watching the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to show your support. Point number six, scalability and performance. There are hundreds of languages out there. Depending on the scale and performance requirements of your project, certain languages may be better suited than others. For example, languages like C++ and Rust offer great control over memory management and performance optimization compared to higher level languages like Python. If you are building a high performance application where every millisecond counts, languages like C++ and Rust may be more appropriate. For example, example, if you're developing a real-time financial trading system, you'll need a language that has fine-grained control over memory and performance. Even in most of the competitive programming like Lead Code, CodeChef, etc., most people who top the contest, as far as I've seen, use C++ programming. Point number seven, personal interest. Ultimately, the interest and passion for your language can play a significant role in your success and enjoyment as a programmer. If you're genuinely excited about a language and its potential applications, you are more likely to stay motivated and dedicated to learning and mastering it. Suppose you're passionate about mobile app development. In that case, you might choose Swift for iOS development or Kotlin for Android development. Being excited about the platform and the language can make the learning process more enjoyable and motivating. There are even other picks like React Native or Flutter based on your interest. 
but make sure your interest also aligns with all the six points i said yeah. these real world examples can illustrate how different factors can influence the choice of programming language for a project or personal development it is essential to weigh these factors carefully to make the best decision based on your specific goals and circumstances hope these points will help you decide on which programming language to pick if you're new here make sure to subscribe to my newsletter also watch my other videos for more such valuable content